to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is another one of my What's New on the High Street series, episode 7. I will pop links to my previous What's New on the High Street videos if you want to check those out. I also leave a link to the first one I did which explains roughly what I'm doing. It's basically just like everything I'm loving on the high street that week. So if you didn't know, now you know. The sun is shining today, it's beautiful outside. I'm assuming it's still quite cold, but it is beautiful, I am pumped, I'm in a great mood. It's so nice to wake up and it's sunny and light outside. Love this daylight saving, woohoo! Although, little side story for you all, the <laughs> clocks went forward this weekend, forward? back. I never ever know which way round it's meant to be. But I know that we lost an hour's sleep. But I didn't know it was happening. I didn't know how me and my boyfriend just didn't know. So Sunday morning my alarm went off and I was like I feel really tired. And he's always up at eight like running around being athletic and loving life. And he was like I feel really tired. And I was like let's go back to sleep for an hour. And he was like yeah. And I was like why do we feel so tired? Turns out we just missed the fact that we'd lost an hour's sleep. So fun story. Sorry guys. Who does that? Who forgets? And it was only when we were making breakfast. I say we. He was making breakfast. I was still in bed. And he was like Jess did the clocks go back? Because it says 9.15 on the oven. And I was like Quite possibly. <laughs> so yes, anyway, bloody bloody blah, blah. Today I am filming a What's New on the High Street. I've got some fun pieces today. By the way, if you see anything on this rail that you like, this is all in my ASOS haul which went live a couple of days ago, so if you want to check that out, I will link it below. I also realised I'm wearing the most unflattering jeans to sit down in. Like these mum jeans like really dig in under my rib cage, so I'm just sitting here like what? But I don't care. Let's start with this top. This is my new obsession, my one true love. I literally, I'm in love with this. I think this is so, 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 so cute. I love it so, oh, got fluff on it. I love it so much. This is from ASOS. I love it. I just can't explain how much I love it. It's so me. It's so perfect. It's so summery. It's so everything. It's so Instagram as well, like light and white and frilly and perfect and I love it. I wore it on the weekend. I went out for a milkshake. I'll pop a picture here for you guys to see. Check out the milkshakes. It's from a place called Mickey's Paradise. If you are ever on the Holloway Road, go here. Oh my god, and the food's amazing. Literally, you could wear anything with this. You could style it with any colour skirt, any colour shorts, any colour trousers, anything. I feel like this will sell out quite quickly. It's quite cheap. It's on ASOS. It will go very fast. I will calm down. I just love it. I think it's so cool. I don't feel restricted in any way. I feel like I can put a jacket on without it like popping up. So yeah, I really like this. I really, really like this. I wore it with mum jeans and a Gucci belt on the weekend and I had a little leather jacket. So yeah, it looked really cute. It looked really cute. And I had this bag with me, which I am excited to share with you all. This bag is from Primark. They are nailing life with the bags at the moment. This is gorgeous. So this comes in three colors. I know it comes in black. I can't remember what the other color was, but I went for red because it's just cool and it stands out a bit more of a statement I think obviously this is a copy of the Chloe bags which I will pop here obviously faux suede but it's suede here and like got the zips to make it a bit bigger down the sides inside it's got a zip pocket and it's also got a little card pocket over here and it's actually big inside like you can get a lot in there can you can you see? And it's got little poppers if you wanted to have it smaller and it's obviously a rucksack so it's got you the straps which you can lengthen and shorten. They don't go very long, but you know, they're fine. Or you can just hold it like this, like this. I really like the color of this. This is something that I think will look really nice the whole way through spring and summer. And again, all the way into winter, because it's red. You can just keep it forever. Guess how much it was, guys? Guess how much it was? Hold on, I don't remember. Oh, eight pounds, eight pounds. I'm really pleased with this, so I think I will get so much use out of this. And it feels like it's like quite sturdy. And this is an outfit. I mean, nailed it. Nailed it. So simple. So affordable. Yay! Oh, it fell on the floor. Okay, up next we have a jacket. So this is um, what one would call a statement jacket. This is not something for the faint-hearted. This is a piece. This is a piece of clothing rather than just like a bit of clothing. This is a piece of clothing. This is the back and it says great at bad decisions and then it is literally covered in studs like actually they're quite sharp these studs I mean we've got some leopard print stars this is all in like metallic we've got leopard print on the back big red writing we've got some lightning bolts we've got more studs you know it's it's a piece mm -hmm. but I really really like this this is something that normally I would have been like oh it's, oh, it's a bit much it's a bit much it's too much but actually if you dress this down with a very very simple outfit then you can just wear this whenever. I just put this on my Instagram and everyone was literally like, oh my god, 
I love it. I don't know if they were just being nice or if people really did love the jacket, but the fact that it just says great or bad decisions, which, I mean, who isn't great or bad decisions? And this is something that I thought would come in my ASOS order, I'd be like, oh yeah, no, I was right, it's too tacky, I don't want it. But actually, I love it. And one of my really good friends, Sabrina, was like, oh, I've really wanted that for ages. And I was like, get it, we can be twins, and now we're gonna be twins, and I'm so excited. This is something that is a statement piece, but it's blooming cool. It's really cool. Love, 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 love. So we have a t-shirt from Primark. This is from Primark. <laughs> we have a pink t-shirt. This is from Primark and it says LA on it, like so. And I just love the font. It's actually a really nice fabric, but it's like kind of a brushed fabric. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I really, really like the colour and I love the red on the pink on the and the white and everything. And I love LA, as you know, if you've watched any of my videos, I'm a fangirl. How much is it? Still got the label in. I had to buy this in a size 12 because it was the only one they had left when I went in and I wasn't going to leave without it because I love it. And also I like my t-shirts oversized. This was £12, so I'm pleased with this. I think it's really nice and a nice bit of embroidery. And because it's got the red on the t-shirt, you can wear it with the red bag and it actually looks quite cool. Now pink and red, most people would be like, what? No, but actually it goes really well here and I really like it. I've never ever had a problem with clashing colors ever. My best friend from uni <laughs> was literally like allergic to clashing colors such as like you couldn't wear navy and black. She'd be like, what is that? What is that? Or like brown and black or brown and navy. She was literally like, no, 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 no. Whereas I'm literally like, oh, whatever, just wear all the colours. So yeah, pink and red, it doesn't phase me at all. Next up, we have a dress. Now this I saw and I was fell in love with. I fell in love with hard. This is from Topshop and it is a little spaghetti strap, spaghetti strap dress with little multicoloured little polka dots. I just think it's beautiful. Honestly, I think it's gorgeous. And it's like a slip style dress. So it's not um, fitted or anything like that. It's just a nice slip dress and I'm in love with the colours. Very 80s, I think. Can you see all the different colours? We've got bright blues, bright pinks, purples. We've got some neon. So yeah, this would look really cute with a little yellow bag, I think. So that is the Top Top dress and I would style that with this jacket, which I also picked up the other day from Topshop. So this is a Top Shop denim jacket, oversized. Very cool, I really, really like this one. This is 45 pounds, which I think is quite good for a denim jacket, especially because this one's like a nice, heavy, real denim. Like you're getting so many denim jackets at the moment that feel very flimsy. Oh doorbell my sister's here one second oh my god please don't knock over my camera <laughs> so my no. sister has arrived right you have to go away now because i haven't finished filming <laughs> Zoe! Be careful! Where were we? I have a denim jacket from about, I'm gonna say 12 years ago now, that I bought in a vintage shop, and that's a Levi's jacket, which I love, but I, I actually think it's going slightly mouldy now. So I thought I would buy a new denim jacket, and this one is super comfy. This is a size 10. I actually really like the colour of this denim as well. I could wear this with actually anything. This could go with this, this could go with the pink t-shirt, the red bag. So yeah, everything goes with everything, and I am pleased. Up next! Now these are a pair of sunglasses that I got from ASOS. I have already lost the little case they came in, but I don't care because I'm so bad with looking after sunglasses anyway, I just throw them in my bag. So they all end up getting scratched, but that's fine. So these were like 14 pounds, maybe 12 pounds, and I absolutely love them. They are like oval, oval? Why do I always struggle with this shape? Oval shape, I think. Oblong? Oval? I wore these the other day with the orange dress that was in my last What's New on the High Street video, and I just think these are really cool. Maybe not all the way up my face, I think they look a bit weird when they're up here. But if I was wear them as a fashion glass, then they're quite cool. And this style is very on trend. These are like a uh, Ray-Ban dupe vibe. Right. Oh, now these I wasn't going to include because I didn't buy these. But then I realised that actually this is the stuff that I'm loving. So I'm loving these. These were sent to me by Kath Kidson. They are a pair of pyjamas. How cute are these? I love them. So they are very, very thin material. I love the pattern of them. These are their birthday pyjamas, so they've got little balloons, like little um, soldiers with balloons. They're like, oh, do you want a small? I was like, no, no, no. Pyjamas must be very baggy. So these are a medium, and so they are a really nice boxy fit on me. Yeah, they're just so comfortable. Like, I've just been wearing them every day. I wore them yesterday to edit a video. <laughs> and they've got the elastic around the back. They've got a nice little pocket. You can then tighten them with the string at the front, which is lovely. Yeah, I just love the, the print of these, and I think these will last me the whole way through summer because they're really light, you can wear them whenever. I think wearing these pyjama bottoms with like a little cami top, it would just look so cute. So thank you so much, Kath Kidson, for sending those to me. Disclaimer, this is not sponsored, I just love them. We have a jumper! So I picked this up in Topshop, and this is a orange cropped sweatshirt, and like really cropped, like 
really cropped. I love the colour and I love like the kind of um, very rin vintage, that was retro and vintage mixed together. It's got a very retro vibe to it, so it says 1971 on it and it also says Hamptons and you know what, any anything that says the Hamptons is quite cool in my opinion because I've never been and I've always wanted to go. So yeah, I just thought this was a quite a cool jumper and I think this would look really nice with a pair of mom jeans. Doesn't go with my lipstick, but that's fine. This however would not go with the red bag from Primark. Don't at me. We have another very bright piece of clothing. This is from Bershka and it is a skirt. But it's in the style, let me tie this up. It is in the style of a trench coat. I think it's a bit different and very unique and I wore it in a photo the other day. I'm gonna call it a trench skirt. It's got the double breasted buttons down the front and it's got that kind of tie waist that you have on a trench coat. It's bright yellow, it's disgustingly creased because it's been in and out of my bag. I think this is a really nice statement skirt if you're wearing it with any like little top, any little white t-shirt would look really nice with this. Yellow so in at the moment. Bershka is so affordable. I think it was like 15 pounds, 16 pounds maybe. Great value. Everything in there is so such good value. I might do a Bershka haul because it's basically the same price as Primark, I think. Right, last but not least, we have these boots. Now these are from Primark. As I said in some of my other videos, white is very cool right now. Everything is white. Everyone's getting everything in white. White coats, white shoes, white bags, everything. So I am jumping on that trend. I bought a pair of white boots and you will never guess how much they were. They were three pounds. I mean, what? Yeah, they were £16, then they were £6, and they are now £3. These are super 60s, they've got a really massive chunky heel on them, as you can see. My boyfriend doesn't like these. <laughs> But I think they're really, really cool. I need to work out how to style them, but I think with any just little dress or something, or if you just want to go full 60s and do like a proper 60s outfit with them, they would look super cute. They would look cute with this t-shirt with like a little denim skirt. Three pounds. Even if you hate them, like that's the price of a... Sorry, they've still got this on there. Even if you hate them, that's the price of a Starbucks. Cheaper than a Starbucks. So yeah. I really like these. That is everything. Ooh. I'm so excited to wear all of this over the next couple of weeks. I really, really hope that there were some things in here that you liked yourself. Let me know if you have any favourite pieces. Pop those in the comments. I would love to know if you guys are loving what I'm buying or if you're literally like, what on earth is that? Stop it. Today was quite an affordable haul for me. I'm really pleased with myself. Obviously, I did a massive Zara haul and a huge ASOS order, so I'm trying to keep the funds together. So there's not anything extortionate in here. Oh, I just absolutely love this top. This is like one of my favourite pieces I've bought in a really, really long time. Anyway, thank Thank you so much for watching. If you've got to the end of the video, I love you. Thank you. It means so much to me. Any comments, any support recently, it's honestly just meant everything to me. I really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Oh no, someone's drilling. I'm going to wrap this up because that's really annoying. I will also pop links to my Instagram, my Twitter, my blog, everything below. If you come over from YouTube to Instagram, let me know in the comments because that would make me so happy. Also, if you've come from Instagram to my YouTube, let me know in these comments because that would also make me super happy. I am gonna go, I'm gonna go and enjoy the sunshine, I'm gonna go and say hi to my sister who's arrived. I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys! Bye! Zoe says bye as well. <laughs>